Good afternoon everybody. I'm doing this on the hop again. I had my special delivery today that I've been really excited to get and I've been waiting for so I wanted to share you as I'm unboxing it because I'm like a child at Christmas time right now. I need to go out again in a minute. I've got just enough time to open this box because I did not want to late till, wait till later. So I'm going to just cut. I ordered this from America from a company called Learning Herbs and it came in a week it only took a week and a few days to arrive so it came really really very quickly I'm really excited to open it I have got my wild card game and ta-da it's a wild craft game, board game. It's a herbal adventure. And it's from ages four for one to four players. And takes a 40 to 60, 45 to 60 minutes. It's from Learning Herbs, the company. And I've been following them on YouTube and um, on their website for a while now. So look at that. I can't wait to play this. It is a board game that explores healing herbs. So it's a way of teaching children about herbal plants and their uses. Um, okay, let's read this at the back. It says, Grandma needs huckleberries to bake a pie. You and your cousin embark on an adventure up the mountain to collect berries as well as herbs she uses. Will you harvest the right plants to help with the trouble you run into along the way? Will you make it back before nightfall? The only way to win is by helping each other out. Wildcraft is a great introduction to ch for children to all ages to 27 amazing herbs, their uses in first aid situations. It is a cooperative board game teaching teamwork as you try to reach the huckleberry path patch and return safely to grandma's house. Included is a digital story that will take players deeper into safe and sustainable plant harvesting. That is so cool. The game board has 54 plant cards, 52 trouble cards, 25 helper cards, four player tokens, one spinner, 15 block markers, two blue markers, and game instructions cooperative easy to play no reading required for younger players no prior plant knowledge required match the herbs you collect with the dangers you encounter if you don't have the right remedy ask a friend with a helper card that is so cool All right I'm open it quick i don't have much time sit in the game behave yourself Welcome to Wildcraft. Okay. Okay, so this looks like the instructions. Game materials, get ready to play. That's the instructions. Really nice. It's very colorful. Okay, so that'll take a bit of reading. So what is Wildcraft? Harvesting plants and processing them to make food and healing remedies. That's wild crafting. Your wild craft game is meant to start you thinking about how the plants growing around you might be able to help you with common ailments like sniffles and cuts. I'm so excited. Oh, they've even got, you know, advertising and plugging their own stuff. There's a magical tale of plants and their remedies. Herb fairies. It's a cha chapter book series and learning systems by Kimberly Gallagher or Gallagher. It deeply explores 12 of the plants in the Wildcraft game that kids love the most. Join the fun at herbfairies.com. I shall check that out. That looks really interesting. What a way to teach children about herbs or herbal plants. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. That colourful board game. That is brilliant. 
Wow. Oh, I recognise that. That's Violet. Oh, there's Heather and there's Pine. Oh, there's some I recognise on the pictures. They're only little drawn illustrations, but I'm sure the cards will have better pictures. Let's have a look. That is so ex exciting. There's Huckleberry Patch right there. There's Grandma's house down there, and I'm Grandma, so that will be appropriate. There's the friendly forest over there, the wild wetlands, veggie patch, flower patches, mushroom patches, fallen trees, hedgehogs. Oh, it is so cool. Okay, how are you going? Right. Help the card. There's the cards there. Wasp sting and the different plants that help with that. I'll have a look at that later. Burdock, different names of plants and their Latin names. I shall be learning more. Let alone kids. Okay, and then there's the helper cards, cooperative opportunity. So, oh, and a spinner card. So instead of a dice, you've got a spinner. There's the spinner little dial on there with the pieces and the characters. Oh, that is so cool. I'm so excited. What's the time? Oh, I can't see the time. I'm going to have to be dashing off again in a minute. I can't wait. I'm opening this up. Okay. Now, the only plastic that was involved was the plastic that covered that. That's not recyclable plastic. And the cellophane type plastic covering the cards. Okay, that's not recyclable. Oh, cuts, bumps and bruises, nettle sting, sunburn, rashes, tired, fever, earache, coughing, sore muscles, scared, hay fever. All sorts of things in there. That's interesting. And they provide the rubber bands to keep the cards together. How handy is that? Right, let's have a look what's in here quick. Okay. Right, on the different plants, calendula, burdock, chamomile, chickweed, comfrey, cottonwood, dandelion, echinacea, field mint, which is probably like our water mint. Herb Robert, which I've got growing in the garden. Huckleberry. I'll check that one out and see what... The, it looks like blueberries. It could be like our native windberries or bilberries. Or just a blueberry. Huckleberry. I'll have to check that one out. Jewel weed. That's very interesting. Lemon balm, which I have in the garden. Marshmallow I've got in the garden. Wild mustard. Oh, I haven't got wild mustard, but... Easily got stinging nettle absolutely everywhere. Oregon grape, that is Mahonia, which we can grow in this country in most gods, and people don't even know that those berries are edible. So, oh, pine, St. John Wort, St. John's Wort wild rose, valerian, which I have in the garden. Mine's got a white flower though. Violet, white willow, yarrow. I have a yarrow, it's not, it's a killer cloth of gold I've got, I've got, and then yellow dock, I don't have any docks, I've got, see, and these things, you can, if you haven't got a garden, you'll probably find it wild somewhere, or in a hedgerow, mm, interesting, I can't wait, okay, I need to get finished because I've got to go again, okay, Cooperative opportunities. Okay, bring forward the player who is furthest behind to be with you and dis discard this card now. Or save this card, use it at any time to allow you to use one of your plant cards to help another player when they get into trouble. That is just so cool. Loads of helper cards. That is so it, co it encourages, instead of competition like some board games to... To put other people back, this game encourages cooperation and helping each other to progress. 
that is so cool look at that and then there's a little bag a little money bag type thing for the pieces once you've opened it to keep them in so that is gray that's what it looks like inside that is absolutely brilliant so all cardboard really except for the plastic that it came on the outside of this and the plastic for the little pieces but it came in a perfectly usable cardboard box that I will use as sheet mulch in the garden or compost or maybe find a use to put bits of crafty bits in so perfectly usable there so that was great ah wildcraft from learning herbs I got it online okay it was um, I think it was $19 I think take home at it 15 pounds so that's not expensive for a board game like this that's really cheap however the postage was even more than the cost of the game because it was coming from america but i think you would agree it was worth it so christmas we're going to be doing some herb learning there you go everybody herbs i shall see you again and i'll tell you when i've read the instructions and when i've played it with my grandson because there's no chance he's going to come home today and not want to play that game lovely all right peoples i shall see you soon i'll put in a link underneath as to where i got this game okay then bye